Alright, I'm gonna have the ultimate maze building competition with my best friend Gold. But what he doesn't know is that I'm gonna be filling my maze with insane traps and obstacles to break him. Gold, I am going to build quite possibly the best maze you've ever seen. You think, Llama? Well, I'm gonna build an even better maze because I'm the maze building champion. What? I'm the maze building champion. I've won like the last two times we've built mazes. What are you talking about? Well, I have medals. Wait, you have medals? Let me see them, Gold. No, you're not allowed. Oh, my God. Only winners can see those medals. What? I'm like the biggest winner here. You know what? Whatever. I don't need to see your medals because I know that they're all fake. Or like the biggest loser. Oh, my gosh, Gold. You know what? I'm going to show you up by building the coolest maze you've ever seen. We'll just have to wait and see about that one, Llama. Yep, I guess we will. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need to do to this maze is run this command slash slash walls and set everything to time in blocks just so that we have a super duper massive outline and next i'm gonna take my wand and select that end and come right over here and select this end and turn this entire floor into diamond blocks because diamonds are obviously the best ore all right and for starters we're gonna need to make gold a nice little entrance just like this and we'll build them a nice little walkway right outside but the thing about this entrance is that it's not actually going to be a real entrance it's going to be a super duper fake entrance so let me just go ahead and extend this just right over here just so that gold thinks that it'll turn sideways obviously and now let me go ahead and place the roof over the fake entrance and of course since this is a fake entrance i say we go in and break the floor just like this and then we grab a lava bucket and turn this entire floor into lava but of course you might be thinking um lava you can just jump over this super easily. Well, obviously not if there's barrier blocks on the other side. Oh my gosh, Gold will never see any of this coming. Because when he tries to jump right over this lava, he's gonna be met with some barrier blocks. But of course, I'm thinking that we set a real entrance right over here. So let me go ahead and break all of these blocks just like this. And of course, this entrance will be the real entrance. So let me go ahead and build up the walls to this thing just like this. So let me go ahead and set these walls to diamond blocks. And I think the first real trap that Gold is gonna have to go through is that he's gonna have to dodge a bunch of fireballs. So I say we go ahead and get some dispensers lined up. All right, and then we can go ahead and do some redstone. Almost done, and there we go. And now that we have all of these dispensers hooked up, I think we should fill all of them up with some fireballs. So let me go ahead and fill this one up. And now I can actually copy this dispenser all the way over here. Ah, oh my gosh, I broke one. And there we go. Oh my gosh, this is going to be absolutely insane. So now once Gold gets all the way over here, he's gonna have to time his running just like this. Oh gosh, don't get burnt. But we can go ahead and break the machine for now since we don't want to waste all of these fireballs. Oh my gosh, that would be really bad if Gold got here and there was no fireballs left. But I'm thinking this next section won't be as simple as trying to avoid a bunch of fireballs. Because now I'm gonna set this entire room to lava. Just like this. There we go. And for this section, I think Gold should try to complete some piston parkour. Which basically means that sometimes these pistons are gonna extend and Gold is gonna have to time his jump so that he can jump perfectly on the piston head. So now I'm thinking we can go ahead and grab this redstone clock and we can actually go ahead and connect it to the redstone parkour. Alright, and there we go. Now we have the first part of our piston parkour set up. So all Gold needs to do is to be able to jump right there. And then there we go. Oh my gosh, but Gold is such a parkour noob. He is totally going to mess all of this up. All right, and then the next jump will be right there. So let me go ahead and hook this up just like this. So now the jump will be like this. Oh my gosh, this piston parkour is going to be so hard. And I'm thinking we have the next jump right up here. So let me go ahead and grab this diamond block and this piston just like that and there we go and now let's go and try this ourselves oh gosh there we go there we go oh my gosh oh man you gotta be really fast with this one. Oh no here we go here we go here we go here we go oh my gosh all right so let me go ahead and adjust the timings on that one because this is turning out to be a little bit harder than i thought it would be all right so here we go let me try this again just like this oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh there we go and you know what's for the final parkour jump i say we should have a piston
piston come out of the lava. So let me actually go ahead and drain all of this just like that. There we go. All right, and then we'll have a piston right there with a repeater going underground just like this. And then we'll dig a tunnel to the redstone contraption. There we go, and boom. All right, and now let me go ahead and make sure that this is possible before we cover that back up in lava. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I need to adjust the timer so that it pops up just a little bit later. And then I think it should be good. So let's just try it out just like this. Oh boy. Boom. Oh my gosh, we did it. Uh, let's go. And now we can go ahead and cover that up and set this entire thing to lava once again. All right, and now let's go in and make sure that we can do it. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Oh boy, there we go. We did it. Oh my gosh, this is such a fun part of the maze already. I cannot wait to see Gold's reaction. And oh my gosh, there's already so much complicated redstone back here. But next, I think we have Gold go up some stairs so that he can get to the next part of the maze. And you might be wondering, Ab Lava, why does Gold need to go all the way upstairs? Well, we're gonna have him complete an ice boating course. All right, and there we go. Now we have our staircase complete. All right, and now let me go ahead and set this place to diamond blocks. Just like that. There we go. And now for our ice boating course, let me go ahead and grab some blue ice. And now we can go ahead and start making the boating course. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. But wait, I just forgot. We actually need to give gold a boat, obviously. So let me go and grab a boat. And then fill this entire chest up with some oak boats. And now gold will have to go all the way along this ice boating course. And if you don't know, boats on ice are actually super duper slippery. And you can also go super duper fast. Oh my gosh. And because of that, it's actually super hard to take turns. So actually, let me go ahead and start a turn right here. And Gold will have absolutely no idea what hit him when he tries to go along this ice bridge. So I say we make the turn like that, and I say we have the turn go all the way around just like this. All right, so there we go. Now the first part of our ice boating course has been complete, so let's try to go ahead and do this ourselves, and oh my gosh! This ice boating course is super duper slippery. Oh my gosh, there's no way Gold gets this on the first try. You gotta go super slow, and oh my gosh, I'm barely staying on! But oh my gosh, I think we just did it. Holy cow, this is actually insane. And you know what? I say we make this part of the course do a little bit of a zigzag formation. So maybe off a little bit that way and then bring it back a little bit this way. Just like this. Oh my gosh, there's no way gold completes this one. And then we'll even go down a layer just like this. And you know what? I say we start to make the ice course a little bit thinner as it goes along. Oh my gosh. Gosh, it's gonna get so thin here. Gold is gonna have such a hard time staying on. And you know what? Wait a second. What if we start to make this thing one block thin? Oh my gosh. There's no way that gold survives on this. And I say we have this thing go just a little bit further, just like this. And there we go. So now I say we go ahead and see if we can do this course ourselves. So let me come right over here, get in the boat, and start driving. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, man, this ice course is so difficult. All right, you know what? Let me just take this thing slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's so many zigzags. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to fall off. Oh, no. Take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm barely staying on the one block parts, but there we go. We did it. Oh, my gosh. That was so stressful. I cannot wait to see if gold can even handle any of that. But now, of course, I think we have to start to build up the walls to this thing. So let me go and set this to diamond blocks. Almost done. And there we go. And of course, if gold gets all the way to the end of that, he'll fall right onto this tiny little platform right here. And you know what? I say we go ahead and set the rest of this place to lava. So if gold ever falls off at any point, he is going to have to face the wrath of my lava floor. Almost done. And there we go. Oh my gosh, this ice boat Boating race is going to be so much harder, especially knowing that there's a bunch of lava that you can fall into. Oh my gosh, and it doesn't make any of these turns easier at all. Oh my gosh, I'm doing 360s. What the heck is 
happening right now? Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is literally the hardest thing I've ever done in Minecraft. But there we go. We did it. All right. And now once Gold gets all the way over here, he's going to have to find the secret door, which we're going to place right here. We're going to have these two doors right there. And Gold is going to have to figure out how to get into the next room. So there we go. And now once Gold is in the next room, he's going to have to go through the next part of our maze. And I'm thinking for this part of the maze, I go ahead and give myself a command block, which when activated will summon a lightning strike. So let me go ahead and grab a pressure plate just like this. And whenever I walk over this pressure plate, oh my gosh, it worked. So I'm thinking we make a maze of these command blocks so that Gold has to navigate his way through an entire maze of lightning bolts. So I say we make the maze come over like this and then wrap around like this. All right, and there we go. So now I just have to replace all of this dirt with these command blocks. Oh my gosh, Gold is absolutely not gonna know what hit him once he tries to complete our maze. All right, so there we go. Now our maze is complete, but I need to cover this entire place with diamond blocks. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. There we go. And now all I need to do is cover this entire place with stone pressure plates. There we go. Oh my gosh, Gold is not gonna know what hit him because once he tries to go through these doors and step on some of these pressure plates, oh my gosh, he is not gonna know what hit him. But of course, if we follow the right path, I don't even, oh my gosh, I don't even know where it is. Oh gosh, oh wait, I found it. All right, and I, I think we gotta go this way. Oh no, wait, and then this way, and then this way. There we go, we beat our own maze. But then of course, once he defeats that part of the maze, I say we go ahead and try to trick him with some mines. Because of course, once he defeats the pressure plate maze, we can't let him get away that easy. So we're gonna have another section of the maze where if he touches the walls, he's going to explode. All right, here we go. Just building a little maze right here. Oh my gosh, this maze is starting to get just a little bit complicated. Oh gosh, I really hope Gold doesn't get lost in this one. All right, almost done with the maze. And there we go. Now we have our second part of the maze complete. So once Gold gets past that lightning maze, he's gonna have to turn this corner and then go this way just like that and then go all the way over here turn right take another right over here and then get out just like that all without blowing up and now for the second to last part of the maze i say we make gold do a size changing obstacle course and what i mean by that is if i go ahead and grab this personal shrinking device gold can actually make himself super big oh my gosh i'm so massive or he can make himself super small just like this oh my gosh i'm so small and what this means is that whenever gold is super duper tall he'll be able to jump over two block gaps just like this oh my gosh i was able to do it let's go so now if i go ahead and finish this wall i'll be able to jump over it easy peasy oh my gosh this is so easy now but wait a minute now i'm not tall enough to jump over this but i'm also not small enough to go under it but if i set my personal shrinking device to 0 0.5, I can walk under with ease. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. And now for our next wall, if I go ahead and grab this diamond chisel and then make it a little bit bigger, I can actually go ahead and start making a hole in the wall. And there we go. Now we have a nice little tunnel where we're gonna have to go even smaller. All right, here we go. Oh boy, I hope we can fit through this. And wait, oh my gosh, perfect. It looks like we were able to make it. So now if we go back to regular size just like this, we made it through the next obstacle. But you know what? Once he does make it through that obstacle, he's gonna step on this pressure plate, which is going to activate a boss fight with this mutant enderman. So let me go to grab a chest. And you know what? I figured we should at least give gold some diamond armor. Just like this. There we go. Just so it's not too hard for him. But of course, once he defeats the mutant enderman that's guarding this chest over here, he'll be able to access all of the gold blocks in the world just like this. Oh my gosh, gold is going to love the end of this maze. All right, gold, are you done with your maze over there? Yeah, I'm done, mama. All right, gold, well, do you want me to check out your maze first or do you want to check out my superior maze first? Mine, of course. Oh my gosh. All right, gold, you always want me to check out yours first, but that's okay because I love playing your mazes. Yeah, and you're gonna love 
this one. Really? All right, get ready for a fight, um, Gold. What the heck am I going to be fighting in there? Um, you'll just have to wait and see. All right, Gold. Well, oh gosh, you are getting me very geared up. A diamond sword and a bunch of diamond armor. Oh no, this is going to be really bad, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. Wait, what are these honey blocks? Oh gosh, I'm super scared. Oh no! Um, wait, Gold. Um, what? Uh, wait, what? What is happening? Is this some sort of like invisible tripwire? Oh, dang it. The arrows don't reach that far. What the heck? Oh my gosh, Gold. I cannot believe. Oh my gosh, wait. It's still getting me. Wait, what? How am I supposed to get across this? Just jump in. What? I don't want to jump in. I'm literally going to die. All right, you know what? I'm going to speed run to the other side. Here we go. Um, wait a second, Gold. Ah! Oh my gosh, wait, some of it hurts and some of it doesn't. I don't know what's happening. I got you, Llama. All right, well, now that I've got past some of this, like, fake lava and real lava, um, what the heck, Gold? Are you really gonna make me go through all through these cobwebs? Oh my yep, gosh. I love it. Wait a second, Gold. I just realized something. What if I use my diamond sword just like this to break all of these cobwebs? Wait, no, you can't do that. That's cheating. No, it's not, Gold. Of course it's not cheating. All right, wait, what am I supposed to do here? This water is looking a little suspicious, Gold. You look suspicious, Llama. What? How do I look suspicious? I don't know. Oh, wait, you just went in the water and it seemed fine, so I'm gonna jump right in. Oh my gosh, what the heck? That's right, Llama. You're just gonna have to figure it out. Hmm, well, wait, there's this honey here, so maybe if I just stick to the honey... Oh my gosh, it's working! And there we go. Ah! Oh my gosh, Gold, why did you just throw me into the water. I don't know what you're talking about. What? That was totally you that punched me in there, by the way. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Oh, my gosh. I gotta go through all of this again. Don't mess it up, llama. I'm not gonna mess it up. Don't you worry. And then now I'm gonna speed... Oh, my gosh. I gotta speed run this before you punch me in this stupid water again. Um, wait. What? Why are all these doors here? You know, I can just do this, right? Whee! No, you, that's so cheating, llama. What? Oh, my gosh. You want me to just walk through the doors again? Yeah, that's the point of a door. All right, wait. Oh my gosh, that looks like a super far drop gold. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh no. Okay, well, I gotta do this super cool ladder parkour, but oh my gosh. Um, gold, what the heck is this? Am I just gonna have to run for it? Maybe. All right, well, I'm gonna go in three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh, this is super scary! Whoa. Good job, llama! Oh my gosh, if I had paused at all, that would have been super duper bad. All right, more doors, more doors, easy peasy, more doors. Wait, where the heck is the thing that I'm supposed to fight? Oh, I forgot that. Um, okay, well, you won. Open for a surprise. Let's go. I beat the maze. I'm so Oh, good, Gold. You could never build a maze. That was too hard for me. All right, well, I'm going to open this. <gasps> oh, my gosh. All of these diamonds. Let's go. Wait, um, Gold, you completely blow up your own maze. Yeah, but I got you. Oh, my gosh. You did get me. Oh, well, Gold, it was a pretty fun maze. I'll at least give you that. So, what are you rating? Hmm, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Only a 7? What the heck? You blew me up at the end. You liked it, though. Oh, yeah, I guess it was kind of fun. Well, I'm pretty glad that your entire maze got blown up anyway. All right, Gold, do you want to come check out my maze? I want you to up my rating first. Uh, fine, I'll give you a 7.1. Mm -hmm. More. Fine, I'll give you an 8 out of 10. Let's go. All right, well, I'm going to go back into creative mode, and you can come right over here. Okay, Llama. All right, Ed, here we go. Just got to put you in survival mode and have fun. Okay, Llama. Well, I'm not falling for this trick again. I know you always do a secret entrance. Wait, what? What do you mean I always do a secret entrance? What are you talking about? Oh, Gold. You always do a secret entrance. Oh, my gosh, Gold. Of course you wouldn't fall for that. You're becoming less of a noob every single day. All right, Gold. Well, have fun with the man. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You're just going to... Oh, my gosh. You got ah. Oh, no. All right, Gold. Well, you're going to have to figure that one out again. And you totally missed the moving parkour. Ah. Oh, my gosh. You're on fire again. Gold, you got to get better at that. Shut up. Ah. 
Oh my gosh, whoa, what the heck? Oh my gosh, Gold, that was insane. How did you miss that? Uh, wait, I have an idea. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, Gold, are you just taking all of the fireballs out of the dispenser? No, you can't do that. Says who? Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess that doesn't matter with the maze. Now I can get rid of these stupid fireballs. I guess those weren't in the rules with the maze, I guess. And just do that. Oh my gosh, Gold, you're always outsmarting me. What are you doing? I went to school. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you do get super duper smart at school. Not really. I just picked my nose. What? Oh my gosh, Gold, what is wrong with you? A lot of stuff. All right, Gold. Well, since you removed all my fireballs and outsmarted me in the first room, I bet you're not going to outsmart me in the second room because it's all a bunch of redstone. Well, I can just be good at it. Oh my gosh, you did it. What the heck? Whoa, that was insane. Oh my gosh, Gold, how did you survive that? It looked like you were walking on air. I'm just cool, llama. Oh, I guess so. All right, Gold. Well, you're definitely not getting past my ice boat maze. It's one of the hardest in all of Minecraft. Wait, I know how to do these. Wait, you do? Wait, do you like practice these or something? Oh my gosh, you almost fell off. Uh, maybe. Oh boy, here you go. And now it's the super thin part. Oh boy. Oh my <laughs> gosh, no way. How do you keep barely doing these? Um, I'm just built different. Oh my gosh, Gold. Do you need me to put out your fire? Yeah, I don't know why I'm on fire. There you go. Thanks, Lama. No problem. All right, well, Gold, you have to complete my lightning maze. Oh, my gosh. Wait, it's a maze? Yeah, it is a maze. That's the whole point of making a maze. Duh. All right, Gold, have fun. Wait, oh, my gosh, Lama. I see the entrance. What if I just do this? Wait, what? What? Oh, my gosh, Gold. You totally just skipped the entire maze. Wait, Lama, aren't these explosives? Um, yeah, why? Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. What the heck, Lama? Why'd you put so many landmines? Well, because it's a maze. You're supposed to find the correct path, obviously. All right, Gold, have fun with the rest of the maze. Wait, oh, my gosh. You just jumped over the final line of mines. Oh, my gosh. Gold, stop blowing up the maze. Wait, Lama, what did this personal shrinking device do? Well, Gold, you can make yourself super duper big oh. like that. Oh, my gosh. I always knew you were short, Llama. Wait, Llama, I have an idea. What if I just... Oh, my gosh. Wait. Wee! Do you just get more health when you grow bigger? Oh, my gosh. I made it, Llama. Oh, my gosh. Well, you completely missed this part. Have fun defeating this mutant Enderman. Hi, Mr. Enderman. Oh, cool. He left. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Mutant Enderman, come back. I'm not paying you to leave a fight. Oh, my gosh. Mutant Enderman, come back. Oh, look at all this gold. Come on, Mutant Enderman. Come back. Here we go. All right, come on. Get him. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Gold, where did you go? I'm outside the maze. Oh I my got out. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Giant gold versus mutant enderman. Who's going to win? Oh, my gosh. Wait. Whoa. What the heck? Where did the mutant enderman go? It's just a bunch of his little ghost minions. Wait, gold. Why did you shrink back into your normal size? You were so powerful as that massive man. I think I took enough damage. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Wait. So, if the mutant enderman hits you enough times, the shrieking device wears off? I guess. All right, Gold, you got this. Defeat the mutant enderman. Yeah. Come on, mutant enderman. Attack him. Oh my gosh, not this again. This is so stupid. Wait, what? Why can you even hit these guys? Oh, my gosh. Wait, oh, these guys are invisible. Whoa. There we go. Whoa, he's going to start throwing blocks at you, Gold. Watch out. Take that. Take that. Oh, gosh, here he is. <gasps> Whoa, you did it. No way. You got Got him! Yeah, I did, because I'm just cool like that. Let's go. Well, Gold, you defeated my maze. What did you think of it? I thought it was pretty cool, Llama. Let's go. Well, Gold, what do you rate it? Solid two out of three. Wait. So, wait, let me do my calculations. Wait, that's a 6.6 .6 out of 10, I think. Oh, my gosh, Gold, that isn't good at all. Wait, it's not? I thought 2 out of 3 is pretty good. Well, I mean, it's above a 5, but, you know, it's whatever. I guess that means you win. Yippee! That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. And click on the video on screen to watch more. Bye!